Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu, I'm a SaaS trainer. In this video, I'm going to talk about it, PROC print options. What is PROC print? Generally, we will not use the PROC print in your real time, but still it, it is very important for your certification exam. So if you want to get more details on it, let's go through this video. You will get a complete understanding of PROC print. What are the different options we use it in real time and as well as certification exam point of view. So let's get started with it. Please note that there is a task at the end of the video. Watch the video entirely and respond to the task by leaving your comments below. As we already know, by using PROC means it's a procedure. Print means you are just printing the data equal to your data set name. Let's say my data available in SAS help library with the name of class data set. I'm just writing it uh, semicolon and run. Okay. So this is just allowing me to print the data. It's printing in the output window. Not only that, I'm interested to have all the variables in the output. I'm interested specifically uh, like a name, sex, age, height, weight, all the variables are printing. But I'm interested to print only name, age, sex only variables, height and weight, we don't need it. Then you can use a statement in the proc that is called var. So you can use a var statement to keep the variables what you want it. I want it uh, uh, name of the student. Uh, that's a name. Sex is required and age is required. That's it. Only these three columns are required. We can just keep it when you execute it. You see that. So name, sex, age is the only variables it is just keeping. Height and weight variables are no more with us. So the reason behind this var statement, we can keep the variables what you want it. Uh, you can get it apart from that uh, i'm just writing it here by using a var not keeping the variables you can rearranging the variables also suppose imagine age variable to be first uh, before then your sex you try to write it uh, now you can get it proc print data equal to sas help dot class var statement name age and sex when you try to execute it uh, so now you will get it name first then followed by the age and then followed by the sex that means by using a var statement, we can rearranging the variables if you want it. Uh, okay, you can rearrange it, uh, the variables, uh, however you want it. Uh, at the same time, so you can keep uh, uh, whatever the data you want it. So you got it, uh, name variable wise analysis, then followed by the age and followed by the sex, you are getting it. So you get a name, age, and as well as a sex also, you'll get it. Yeah, that's, that's about your proc print of the options, and we can do that. But sometimes, if you are interested to increase the space between your observations, we can write it by using an option called double D O U B L E. If you write it double, it will try to increase the space between your observations. If you execute it, you see that earlier all the 19 records are bit uh, uh, compressed manner, but now you got a space between observations. It's a relaxed space, one line of extra space. You got it. So this is going to be what I can say is double means increasing the space between observations not only that you are interested to increasing the space between your variables vertically i want to just horizontal i want to stretch more vertically i can stretch it by using an option if you want to do that uh, using an option here you can keep the double and you can keep it uh, uh, as a width equal to w i d t h width equal to you can write an option called full this will allow me to get the variables uh, Okay, so with equal to full option, I have written this maximum this C earlier this much of your width of the uh, all the three columns, but now it is bit uh, stretched more because that's a max you can stretch it uh, because I have only three columns. That's the reason why it is just stretching like that. If you have more columns, it will be stretched throughout your page to be fitted. Uh, so that much you can get it. Not only that, by using proc print, what we can do is suppose imagine some also we can write it some of your age so age wise if you are interested to get the sum you can see that some of my ages all age sum i want it i can get it by using age wise sum and here i just written a variable called name according to the client interest they want it name as a student name then i can apply a label here so just mention it a label so within a label you just mention it uh, what label you want it to give want to give it 
I want to give it a name as a okay name equal to I'll write it in a quotation the name I want to give it as a student name is the label I want to write it here and give the semicolon so make sure to write a label here also because when you try to write a label here and make sure to write the same label there also when you execute it so now you can see um, I think you need to remove this one brackets ah uh, so now you just write it a label when you execute it see student name is the label you are getting it but the problem is student is displaying in the first line and name is displaying in the second line I want to get it uh, all uh, so in one particular value so what happens you know wherever it is a space as automatically cutting there and continuing to the next line but the thing is I'll try to write it instead of label I'll try to mention it a split that means I'm writing a splitting character that is called hash my interest is wherever you got the hash then only you cut it so don't cut it unnecessarily I'm just using it split equal to hash when you try to execute it and run the program now still there is no change here generally what happens you know suppose imagine the label is something like uh, uh, this um, ninth class okay student names okay I'm just writing it something like this when you try to just display this label execute it what happened ninth class student names you are getting it right so you're expecting ninth should be at the top uh, class and student under one particular column and names is under another row if you want it that means multiple rows it's automatically splitting by because say as default it is just taking uh, the space as a consideration it automatically splitting the columns instead of that you are interested to cut it where you want it I'm interested to cut my data after ninth class will be one line student will be one line okay and names will be one line I'm expecting in that manner if you execute it now you see that ninth class will be one line student is one line and names will be one line that means I can control that particular labels okay how much you want it the where you need to cut it and all you can use it so label is the option you use it here label is the option you use to display the labels and we're coming to here when you write it a label here within the label you can create your own label if the data set doesn't have a labels sometimes imagine if your data already have a labels imagine go to your library in your SAS help maybe you just go for a library called uh, what I can say that hot data set you try to open it so there you can see in the column names in the data set when you open it looking into the column labels there are labels already there you double click on this particular variable for a sample purpose MRW is my column name metropolitan relative weight is the label so you are interested to print this label by default proc print will not print huh? so let's say proc means it's a procedure print means I'm printing it data equal to your data set name so that is going to be your SAS help library containing a hot data set when you write it in semicolon and run don't expect that when I execute it run the program don't expect that label to be created so a label to be printed in the output you are really interested uh, the label to be printed in the output uh, so we need to write an option label even though the label is there in the data but you are interested to print that label of the data set uh, we can just write it this one now you see that metropolitan relative weight is the label it is displaying it earlier by default column name only every time it is displaying it uh, if you want it uh, you can just display the labels by just mentioning it uh, with a label option it will work when the label is not there in the data set like this earlier there is no label for my variable of name age and sex uh, you just see uh, those columns in your uh, class data set if you try to open it uh, so there I don't have any labels but still I'm interested to create a labels in a proc step because my interest is not to create in the data step only in the output uh, purpose only it's enough for me when you execute it and run it so the label you can create your own labels I have given label only for name if I want it I can give it for sex and age also I can give it the labels if, if I really want it yeah so that is the way I can be able to write it apart from that so you can uh, I'm just using it here what I can do is um, 
here you want it uh, heading equal to vertical so right now all the columns by default headings are horizontal see right now i'll remove everything so by default let me just write it uh, okay so let me just write it everything removed okay when i'm writing a proc print uh, so default when i try to run it uh, it will be printed my columns like a name section age and height weight are like a horizontal i want it in a vertical manner of those column names i can just write it write it as a heading h e a d i n g heading uh, equal to vertical you can just uh, write it uh, this will allow me the same heading in a vertical manner you will get it you can see that name sex age height weight uh, in a vertical manner if you want it you can get it so this is all our proc print options what we have in sas we just covered so apart from just a proc print we can write all these options like label width width equal to full and heading equal to vertical and so now uh, and obs so generally one more option i forget to explain even when you are trying to do it by default when you write it uh, it is printing obs column every time you see that the obs column you are getting it you are not interested to have this obs column anymore i can tell to my sas by just mentioning a statement called no obs so what is that means you know no observations to be displayed the observation not to be displayed the obs is column is gone only name sex age height weight only you are getting it so with this we done with all the proc print options what we have in sas we just covered now we done with learning proc import procedure so what we do is let me do a small let me just give a small task on this particular proc import so you can see that using a proc import to display the data set information so this is the data set which is there so you have to create a data your data set name age gen uh, age grade and uh, so what i can say that measure and all so you try to create it all this particular data as a data set try to print this particular data set and so what i can say that uh, not to so here we need to use some options as you already learned some options in the proc print use an option not to display the observation number so the obs column i don't want to display at the same time limit the displaying observations uh, limit the displaying a uh, display to only name age and major columns only so i have a grade also extra i don't need it i am expecting the order only name age and as well as major is the columns only three columns only i need it apart from that another question is adding a title to the output as a list of students how to add a title to the output you can write that also so that is a simple task you try open sas and try to do it creating a data set don't dis no to display the observations and apart from that keep only the variables of name age and major columns and then list of students is the title you need to create it i hope you can able to do successfully so if you are done so write it i have done that and see for more comments so that uh, 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 any new approaches are people are doing it in a different way you can see that and apart from that i am just adding a write code the answer code in this particular uh first comment or maybe in our what i can say that uh, uh in the description of this video so please try to watch it thank you for watching please click on the like if you are interested on this particular video and as well as subscribe for more updates and if you have any questions or comments please write it in the comment section i'll take care thank you